the changes were immediate. Um, I, during the treatment, you I mean? started to see some during the two weeks when I was there. I was able to lift my right foot off the bed, whereas I couldn't before. And you can't actually believe that you're seeing things happening to your body that specialists in the UK say that it, it just isn't possible. Initially, I was getting worse every every month. I could see a deterioration. And from having stem cells, that's that stopped completely. I've not had a deterioration like that since. I owe my life to Swiss Medica. Um, I I just know that I wouldn't be where I am now without them. Can you introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your life before your multiple sclerosis diagnosis? So my name's Sean Lawrence, and I come from the UK. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2009 and um, it became progressively worse over the, the next six years after, after being diagnosed. My daughter was at university. She'd heard of um, stem cell treatments being done on trial basis in the UK. Uh, and she said, Dad, I think you ought to look at stem cell treatment. So I tried to get on different trials, couldn't. Um, there were such strict criteria. You had to have tried so many drugs that hadn't worked. And uh, I just thought, right, okay, I can't get on any trials. Let's have a look at what I can do privately. Uh, so after a lot of research on the internet, um, I came across Swiss Medica and uh, phoned them. I had a consultation with the doctor. I was really impressed with what I heard. And that's when I then went for my first lot of stem cell treatment. And when you were you first diagnosed and with multiple sclerosis and what were initial symptoms and challenges you faced? So in initially uh, I was just falling for no reason. Um, I thought I was tripping over things on, on the floor, but I realized after sort of 12 months that I wasn't tripping over things. I was just falling for no reason. And that's that's how it all started, and then over the over the next years it just got progressively worse. Um, I was I, I was falling, and then I've, I've got problems with my right hand side of my body, and it's always escalated in my leg really. So that I found walking difficult, f uh, trips, frequent falls, and can't couldn't walk very well. When was your first time, first round of stem cell treatment? And what were results after the first round of stem cells? Okay, I th the, the first time was approximately 10 years ago. And um, I had um, different, different types of stem cells. So I had uh, umbilical stem cells. I had my own stem cells from bone marrow. I had my own stem cells from fat and I think I had donor, donor fat cells that were grown on into, in the lab to higher numbers. Um, when I got back to the, well, it, it wasn't even when I got back, I was actually able to walk better. And when I went out for my treatment, um, I was walking with two sticks through the airport. And when I, walk, when I went back, having had two weeks of treatment, um, I was able to walk through the airport without sticks and it was just, it amazed me. I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing myself. And how many times have you visited our clinic for a stem cell treatment? This, this time will be my fourth time now. And can you please describe me how your condition have changed uh, after the each round of stem cell treatment and when have you started noticing Improvements, okay. improvements, changes. Well, that the first, the first time, the the changes were immediate. Um, I, during I, the treatment, you I mean? started to see some during the two weeks when I was there. Um, I was able to lift my my right foot if I was lying flat on the bed. I was able to lift my right foot off the bed, whereas I couldn't before, and I was able to lift it right up to the ceiling. And I think I spent most of that fortnight actually in tears because the emotional effects is just immense and you can't actually believe that you're seeing things happening to your body that 
specialists in the UK say that it, it just isn't possible. That was the, the first time was the bit that was they were the biggest changes. And after I got back home, it carried on. It carried on getting better for approximately four to six months. And uh, I think it's also important to say that you have to you have to put an input in yourself. You have to um, exercise. You have to eat healthily. You have to try to help the stem cells. I don't think the stem cells are just a, a magical cure. Um, they are definitely there to help you, but I think you also have to help them and help the condition. And so that and that's what I did. I went to the gym. I um, I I really tried hard to to work hard and to help the stem cells help me. The next time I went. It was because I'd had a slow decline, but it wasn't very much. It was probably three years after. And I thought, okay, I'll go and try, I'll go and try a top up to see what, what, how much it will help me. Um, unfortunately, I don't think it helped me as much as the first time. Um, it did help me and it did stop the progression. It stopped me from getting a lot, lot worse. And right throughout the journey, to be honest, I, I can say that that's true to say, initially I was getting worse every, every month I could see a deterioration. And from having stem cells, that's, that's stopped completely. I, I've not had a deterioration like that since. Um, so the second time I went, I was, I was able to walk a little bit better. My balance was a little bit better. Uh, and then approximately, I think it, it's roughly three years, I think it's been about every two to three years. And then I thought, well, I'd go, I'd go back and have another top up. And uh, again, I had small improvements, but nothing like the first time. And how, how about after the third round of treatment? Have you noticed any changes, improvements? The, the, after the third one, yeah, yes, there, there were still a few, a few improvements. Um, but in August of this year, mm -hmm. uh, I actually, um, I had a really, really busy weekend. I got married and I think the stress of the weekend and we also went away and the, the place that we um, booked to go for a, like a honeymoon, um, they, there were 36 steps to get to the room. And I just think that the stress and the exertion of these 36 steps, steps and it put me into an MS remission. And uh, I, I, I really, really struggled. I, I couldn't even, from sitting on a chair, I couldn't stand up. I was, I was that bad. So again i sort of I, I don't give up i think it's really important to say to people you've got to have a, a positive outlook on life and you, you you can't just give up so i had physio and i also joined a local gym and they have a pool that you can actually walk in it's all one level it's about sort of shoulder height and i've been walking in the pool and I've been doing, I've been going three times a week and I've been doing an hour each time and just to try and strengthen my leg and to get some mobility. Uh, and I've got to the point where I'm, I, I was walking with two crutches and I just thought, right, okay, this is the time now to go back to, well, it's Serbia now, but, but to go back to Swiss Medica and um, have another set of stem cells just to, to boost what I've been doing. Have the program changed during the time in terms of uh, type of stem cells, way of administration? Yeah, I, I've, I've seen huge changes coming back this time. Um, the clinic, the, um, the procedures that the, there's been a lot of advancements um, over the years, De definitely, definite advancements. And I think there is a, there's probably a lot to learn about stem cells even now, and, and we are probably in the early days, but it's nice to see that companies such as Swiss Medica are actually 
um, using the, the procedures and they're helping people like me because otherwise I, th I know I would be considerably worse than I am now. Getting back to the point when you mentioned that you was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and you researched about stem cells. Your daughter uh, told you that there is a possibility. Mm. Have you got a chance to talk to your doctor about that idea? Yes, I, I spoke to my MS specialist and he basically said um, that it wasn't proven um, and that I shouldn't waste my money and I, I, I should just um, continue on, on the pathway in the UK which unfortunately is just go to see your MS specialist every couple of years and he examines you, he writes a report and that's it. So I, I've never been offered drugs or treatment in the UK at all, which is why I've just decided I was going to do it myself, mm -hmm. whether it was proven or not. And, uh, and I, I do now think that the UK are just the, the 20 years behind other countries because um, seeing what I've seen now and seeing the improvements, seeing the other people in the clinic that have equally had good improvements, I just know now there's no shadow of a doubt in my mind that stem cells are definitely the way forward. Can you walk us through your treatment process over these five years? Yeah, how was it for you? Was it painful? Any side effects? Um, it wasn't. It hasn't been painful at all. Um, some of the treatments are uncomfortable. So even today, this morning, I've had um, bone marrow extraction, and I've also had a lumbar puncture. Now these they're not nice things at all, but I can't say there was any pain but there was a very a stinging sensation when the needle has entered the bone. And it, it, it's not nice. You, you can't, I can't say to anybody, it's a nice procedure to go through. And if I wasn't so adamant in my own mind that it will help me, I wouldn't be here and I wouldn't have had it done. But I'm okay, I'm, I'm sitting here now talking to you and uh, I'm very comfortable, I'm not in pain and uh, it's really really good did you have some kind of a little sedation when you had they gave me some local local anesthetic mm -hmm. in the area that they were going to uh, do the procedure okay during your treatment journey have you faced any challenges i think every every day is a challenge to be honest um with with multiple cirrhosis i think ev every day is a challenge and um I always face every day as best I can with a positive attitude, which I, I said before, really. Um, and I think that's, that is just key to anything, is to stay positive. And what are the most, um, let's say, vivid results have you received uh, from stem cell treatment? The most important uh, for you? I think, ironically, the most important for me were the toilet urgencies. So I faced, over the years, I've, I've faced many toilet urgencies and toilet um, accidents. And I think for a 50 year old man at the time, the, it was just so degrading to have toilet problems and accidents. So I think overall, that is probably the biggest benefit to me but then equally, my walking is as well. Um, I, 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 I know without stem cells, I know I would have been in a wheelchair by now. Uh, and I'm not in a wheelchair, I'm walking and you know, I, I'm able to get about, I'm able to be independent, which for me is very, very important. What message or advice would you like to share with others who are living with MS and considering stem cell treatment? I would say do your own research. Don't be, don't be bullied or led by anybody. But equally, um, 
I would say don't delay having stem cell treatment. Have it as early as you can before whatever your condition is gets really, really bad. Because the earlier you catch things, the better improvements you get. My, my advice to anybody would be don't, without a shadow of a doubt, just do it. If you can do it, do it. I, I owe my life to Swiss Medica. Um, I, I just know that I wouldn't be where I am now without them. It's quite, it is quite emotional at times. Um, I was talking to my wife on the phone only last night and I said, I don't want to leave this place. I want to stay here. And she said, but why do you say that? Why, why wouldn't you want to come home? And I said, I obviously do want to come home and I obviously will be coming home. But when I'm in the clinic and I'm surrounded by such knowledgeable doctors and nurses, the, the physiotherapy that the team here, I've had an hour's physiotherapy every day. And in the UK, that would be costing me a hundred pound an hour at least yeah. just for that. Yeah. And everybody here makes me feel uh, that my life has got a purpose and that there is a future. Whereas at home, you're completely on your own. So unless I go to the gym, go to the pool and do things myself, um, I've got no help, there's no support. Whereas when I'm in the clinic here, the support is just, it's out of this world. And it really does make me think that the UK and other countries are 20 years behind people like Swiss Medica. Um, they, they are just the leaders in the field. They really, really are. And I think other countries should, without doubt, take notice and practice what they're doing. Why did you choose our clinic for your treatment? And uh, what has made you continue with us over these years? Probably the same, probably the same answer that I've just given you really. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's the knowledge, it's the professionalism. Um, I, can't, I can't think of anything else to say other than they just make me, they make me feel at ease. They're very professional, they're very knowledgeable, and um, the results to me have been immense also. So I've gained a lot out of what they've done, the treatments that they've given to me.